The respiratory system moves air through the nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea, and bronchus to the alveoli where the gas exchange between oxygen and carbon dioxide occurs. Nares are the openings to the nose. The nasal cavity is lined with cilia, mucous membranes, and blood capillaries. The air is filtered by cilia, moistened by mucous membranes, and warmed by the blood. Air moves into the pharynx or throat, the common passageway for food and air. Air continues on to the larynx. The epiglottis, a flap of tissue in front of the larynx, closes off the larynx when swallowing to prevent food from entering. The larynx, or voice box, contains the vocal folds. The trachea, or windpipe, connects the larynx to the bronchial tree. The cartilage rings of the trachea prevent the trachea from collapsing. Lungs are spongy tissue with alveoli and blood capillaries. Breathing occurs because of the expansion and contraction of the lungs. The bronchi carrying the air subdivide into smaller branches called bronchioles. At the end of each bronchiole are the alveolar sacs. The alveolar sacs are surrounded by blood capillaries and contain millions of single-layer alveoli cells where the gas exchange takes place. Oxygenated air goes from the nose to the pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchus, and alveoli. By the process of diffusion, oxygen in the air moves from the alveoli to the capillaries. Carbon dioxide moves from the capillaries to the alveoli and is exhaled. This process is called respiration. The process of exchanging gases between the atmosphere and the body's cells is called respiration and involves several events, including breathing. As we zoom into the body, we can observe the respiratory system during gas exchange. Air passes through the alveolar sacs to the alveoli, where gas exchange occurs. In this cutaway view of an alveolar sac and its capillary bed, the process of gas exchange is easily observed. During inspiration, atmosphere air fills the alveoli and gas exchange occurs between the alveolar and capillary epithelia. Oxygen in inspired air is represented as a white gas. Carbon dioxide in expired air is represented as a blue gas. Notice the change in color in the red blood cells during gas exchange. Now let's zoom into a higher magnification view of gas exchange at the respiratory membrane. Red blood cells in the capillary adjacent to the alveolus release carbon dioxide and bind oxygen. Pneumonia is the result of the body's reaction to respiratory infections caused by bacteria, viruses, mycoplasma, and other pathogens. The infection causes an increased secretion of fluids and shedded cells to pour into the passages and air sacs of the lungs. The presence of exudate within the air spaces of the lungs causes the coughing, shortness of breath, and fever associated with pneumonia. If you ain't here, I just can't breathe. There's no air, no air.